right now I'm standing in front of uh, Chamarajendra Geological Park, which is which is also known as uh, Mysore Zoo. And the timing for the zoo is from 8:30 to 5:30. So we have got our ticket, 100 rupees uh, adult and 50 rupees for children up to 5 to 12 years. So we came to the zoo around 9 o'clock. The animals are most active during uh, morning time. Here are some do's and don'ts. Make sure you are following the rules and keep the environment safe. the entrance you will see a huge map. Complete pathway has been given. As soon as you enter, you will be greeted with a chirping sound. There are more than 50 bird species are available here and those birds are really colorful. Ornithotherapy, therapeutic or of bird watching. When this therapy says that if you are watching a bird, your mood will be really good and you will feel really happy. So we are now inside the zoo and this zoo is known as Jam Rajendra Geological Park. It's also known as Mysore Zoo. Now this zoo is uh, located on 145 acres of land. Initially the zoo was situated by uh, Raja Jam Rajendra so that's why it is known as Jam Rajendra Geological Park. So initial, uh, you know, uh, size of the zoo was 45 acres. Later on, it's expanded and it has been handed over to the Geological Authority of India. Currently, this uh, zoo has 180 plus species, and uh, this zoo is also one of the best zoo in Asia and one of the oldest zoo in India. Age of the zoo is almost 100 plus years. Now to feed these animals, the zoo authority needs at least 300 kilos of meat, 500 kgs of grains and over 1000 kilos of vegetables every day uh, to fund this particular huge amount of the expenditure. The only uh, dependent is on the entrance tickets and uh, some fundings by the government and the adoption program has been uh, created by the zoo authority. So, just to end about the introductions, one thing that please supervise your kid, no food or drinks, thank you, keep the zoo clean and please do not feed animals. So, as you know, we are uh, capturing the wild animal and uh, putting them in zoo is not allowed. So, these Mysore Zoo actually expanded based on his animal exchange program. So, what they do actually, they breed the animals here 
and they exchange with other zoos to get the new new animals. So there are ample places has been created to just to sit and relax. This uh, zoo is uh, almost a 3.5 kilometers walk to see the different animals. So there are options to have battery operated uh, vehicle. So they charge 150 rupees. Uh, also just to let you guys know this zoo is uh, wheelchair friendly battery operated vehicles. It will stop in the designated place like you know point A, point B and point C. Mysore Zoo is one of the oldest zoo in India and also it is one of the best zoo awarded in Asia. The way it has been you know, created and maintained, it really deserves that particular award. is that whatever the waste has been generated within the zoo it has been reused to create vermicompost or insects for animal feed entered in the zoo at 9 am time is now 12 pm so almost three hours we are still we are continuously walking and um, visiting various uh, species but uh, I know it's really hectic so uh, we are just near exit now taking some rest. As I said that you know the zoo is one of the cleanest zoo I have ever come across at least in India so yeah definitely it is a worth of a visit we are really enjoying this long walk so if you are having any trouble you can use the battery operated vehicles 
So if you are coming to zoo, there is something you know, the horse ride, you must try. So this is the horse ride we are trying now. I hope this will be a quite interesting. Let's see. So we have taken this horse ride from Mysore Zoo to Karanji Lake. We are just in front of the entrance. Inside this Karanji Lake garden, you have a big lake with a boating facility and India, India's largest aviary. Aviary means a large enclosure where the birds are kept. So you can take a walk inside the aviary. There are a lot of bird parks and bird watching facilities and also a children play area due to some reason that aviary was closed so we could not uh, take a walk inside the aviary however we did a boating just to let you know this park is interconnected with zoo With this, I'm concluding my Suzu and Karanji Lake videos. See you in some other videos. Till then, bye bye.